Yeah, hello and welcome to another NCVNA video everyone. If you're new to our channel, you should know that here we introduce and give tips on ant species as we find them ourselves, as well as make product introductions and more. Today's topic will be what to feed your ants and we'll also make a showcase of our middleware farm that you see here. So, what do ants actually need to survive? They need water at all times, that may seem unproblematic if you have them in a test tube, but as soon as you move them to a formicarium, you need to give them water in any form, at all times. The second thing they need are carbohydrates. This can be in form of sugar water or honey water, for example. And for their development, they're gonna need lots of protein. Protein is very essential for egg laying and larvae growth. So if you want your colony to grow fast, then you should provide them lots of protein. Protein usually comes in form of little insects. This can be fruit flies, grasshoppers, cockroaches, or mealworms. You guessed it. Since we'll soon have many colonies to feed due to the hibernation period ending, I decided to make my own millwar farm. Please excuse the shakes, but we're going to take a closer look at it. First, I'll start by showing you where to put the first millworms that you buy from a shop. Put them in here. These are oaths that you can buy from the supermarket, and you'll have to feed them carrots or apples or things like that so that they get some humidity. They don't need any water. That would be my bottom layer, and then you actually look up to find these are the larvae these are also the ones that you are going to feed your ants and let me show you this this is a pupae what I do when they become pupae is I take them and put them up here on the top layer of my farm. Leave them in and wait until they hatch. Here you have one that's already hatched. Two. And I think I saw another one. Three. So. We'll just showcase that with one. We'll take this guy here. And put him to the other that we've got here. We'll help him out. Or her. I don't know. So, what we have in this layer are actually more oaths and a place for them to hide. You can see them here. Hiding underneath it. This is the mating chamber. And the fourth layer, I have not yet actually utilized it, but the idea is for me to cut out on the plastic over here and put in a gaze, you know, the aluminium thing which allows then the little eggs and larvae to get through and fall into the first layer again. So you'll have a self-sorting millwall farm. So these guys of this layer 
will have to be moved down here and they fall down here so you take them out and feed them to your ants I also cut them before I give it to them yeah and that's pretty much it so let me make a recap on what we learned today water is essential for ants and you have to provide it to them at all times what you should also provide on a regular basis are carbohydrates I do that in form of sugar water and honey water and if you want your ants to develop and if you see that they have lots of larvae you should provide them protein I do this in the form of mealworms like you saw here on my farm but you can also do that with fruit flies, grasshoppers or cockroaches that wraps today's video up guys I hope it was informative for you leave me a like if you liked the video or don't if you didn't and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss upcoming species introductions and nest building tutorials as our colonies come out of hibernation period. I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys!